and welcome back to the Verizon update, folks. And the storm in Orchard Park shows no signs of stopping. The winds are still raging and the snow continues to blanket the area. And due to these intense conditions, the game between the Bills and the Steelers has been postponed until tomorrow. But Super Wild Card Weekend continues today, 4.30 Eastern. That's when the Cowboys and Packers kick it off on Fox. Then tonight on NBC, the Rams visit the Lions. Tomorrow, right here on CBS, the Steelers and Bills square off at 4.30 Eastern. And Super Wild Card Weekend concludes tomorrow night with the Eagles and the Buccaneers on ABC and ESPN. Our coverage begins tomorrow at 3.30 Eastern with more of the NFL today. But tonight, Jared Goff and Matt Stafford face off against their former teams with everything on the line. As we take a look at the NFC playoff bracket, you can see right here, look, man, San Francisco sitting there waiting for the lowest of these seeds to now move forward, or you want to say the highest of these seeds, depending on how you want to look at it, Nate. But I will say this, for Matthew Stafford going into Detroit, a lot of ups and downs, 12 years, ups and downs. One thing we always knew, he could throw, and yep. he was one tough son of a gun. Yeah, he is, no doubt. Can't wait to see the game. I want to talk about the coordinators and the defenses of both teams real quick. For the Los Angeles Rams, Raheem Morris is a coordinator, likes to play it safe, plays a lot of zone, gives away easy completions. And then Aaron Glenn for the Detroit Lions, he wants to play more man-to-man -man coverage, but how can you do that against the Rams, who run the football so well? So it's going to be... Really interesting to see, Bill. And they do. Uh, the, Phil, they talked to the Karen Williams, sets up a lot of the play action that uh, Sean McVay loves. And Matthew Stafford, boy, is he a perfect fit for this offense. He's got people like Cooper Cup, he's like Puka Nakua, Tyler Higby, and Kyron Williams with the running game. One thing, and you said it, Boom, about Matthew Stafford. He is one tough SOB. Uh, yep. He sits there and he'll step up in the pocket. He'll yep. sit there. His accuracy, his anticipation. This is a guy who's going back home. He's got a little bit probably a chip on his shoulder, as Pog does Jared Goff. No doubt. Another guy that has a chip on his shoulder is Jared Goff. Now, Jared Goff played well this year over 4,000 yards, but over the last seven games, he's had eight turnovers. So what do you do when you have a guy like Sam LaPorta who might come into this game a little banged up? You still have speed. I don't know why Sam Brown, Jameer Gibbs, you know, guys like Jamison Williams. You have to get him going early, so expect maybe some quick screens, some flare routes, bubble routes, even plays out of the backfield with design lead blockers to get the ball into the playmaker's hands. That's good for the skill players, but also it gets your quarterback going with some easy catch and throws. One other thing I want to look at, man, this is one of the best offensive lines, the Detroit Lions. Yes. Going against Aaron Donald and that group on that defensive line for the Los Angeles Rams, that would be a heck, one heck of a fight. In a dome, the temperature's about, what, 72 degrees? Oh, yeah. It doesn't look like this, I can tell you that. Back to the AFC Championship game of last year.